Hello friends, if you have find this video and channel interesting which will add value to your knowledge and learning then please like it, subscribe my channel and also click on the bell icon so as to get the automatic notification of latest uploaded videos. Thank you. Let's see what this question is looking for. Uh, your company has offices in 10 countries. The company has a tenant dial plan configured for each country. The company recently opened an office in a new country. You need to create a new tenant dial plan that meets the unique dialing requirements of the new country. What should you do? So we have four options uh, in option A. Run the new CS online voice routing policy command. Second is uh, from the Microsoft Teams admin center, select voice, select dial plan, and then select add. Option three, from the Microsoft Teams admin center, select locations, select network topology, and then select add. Fourth option is run the set CS tenant dial plan command. So if you see here, this question is talking about the tenant dial plan. Means there is a need to create a new tenant dial plan for the new country. Okay. So if we see the option B, which is also talking about some dial plan, and option D is also talking about the dial plan. Okay, so let's see which option is correct. So if you go and log into at Microsoft Teams Admin Center and you go to Voice Dial Plan and then you can create the desired plan, dial plan by adding using the add option. Okay. So if you see, if you go to uh, Teams Admin Center and if you click on voice and if you click on dial plan and using the add option you can create the new dial plan okay and other option like uh, the command new dash cs online voice routing policy that is used to create the new online voice routing policy and not the dial plan similarly the option CS tenant dial plan that is used to modify an existing dial plan. Okay, it is not used to create a new dial plan, but it is used to modify an existing dial plan. So, both these options are not correct. So, the correct option should be should be B, where you need to go to Microsoft Teams Admin Center, select Voice then select dial plan and then select add. So let's explore the Microsoft Teams admin center and few Microsoft Teams document what does it says. So if you log into Microsoft Teams admin center and you need to go to voice and then you need to go to dial plans and then if you click on add then you can see you can create a new dial plan as it is asked in a question okay so so option b looks to be the correct option let's see what microsoft document says if you go to the url which is mentioned in the channel and if you uh, go to the topic create a dial plan you can see um, how to create a dial plan means you need to go to the voice then you need to go to the dial plan and if you click on add then you are able to add a new dial plan or create a new dial plan as it is mentioned here okay if you go through all the document you can see how it can be done and how you can create a new dial plan using the PowerShell module okay by firing the command in the PowerShell 
similarly if you see new cs online voice routing policy this command is used to create a new online voice routing policy and not the dial plan hence this option is not correct and the command set dash cs tenant dial plan it is used to modify an existing tenant dial plan hence this is also not correct because our ask is to create a new dial plan and not to modify an existing tenant dial plan hence the correct option or the correct answer for this question is b from the microsoft teams admin center select voice select dial plan and then select add to create a new dial plan a new tenant dial plan i have given the reference where you can log into microsoft teams admin center and explore it and you can explore few of the document microsoft documents how to create and manage dial plan going to the topic create a new dial plan or create a dial plan and also for the new cs online voice routing policy what does this command is used for and the command set dash cs tenant plan what does this command is used for thank you